Have you ever been busy editing a video and then somewhere in the edit you think to yourself, man, I should have rather d done it this way or I should have gotten this footage instead of this footage or you edit a whole sequence and then after the sequence you realize this sequence would actually make more sense at that point of the video. Well, today we're fixing that. Okay, so hey guys, uh, welcome back to today's Wednesday Checkout. Uh, how are you guys doing? I've certainly had a great week so far myself. We've all been there, right? Just go to a location, pull out the camera, press record, go back to the editing software, and at a point you just start editing and make a story of what you have. Well, actual fact of the matter is you can make 10 times better stories if you just plan out the stories and plan out your shorts. So how do we actually do this? Well, it's called planning and storyboarding. So it's essentially planning your, your whole story beforehand to a point where you can actually generate a short list and go capture the footage. So while doing this, we're actually making the editing process so much quicker, as well as easier for the guy doing the edits to plan out. So I don't have to do the planning now. I don't have to make a story from the footage I got. I can actually look at the story that was planned, see what the shots are, and just combine them in a straight storyline and do my editing skills in terms of sound design and transitions and color grading, that type of stuff, right? Okay, so I use this application that comes free with any Apple device, which is called Freeform. So this application is based on sticky notes and it allows you to, to import sticky notes or add sticky notes. It allows you to connect your sticky notes by, via these lines to keep track of them. It allows you to add some shapes it allows you to add photos, which you can preview. What you can also do is you can color code your sticky notes, change the sizes of them. Uh, again, you can add some shapes, you can add some text fields for some extra notes. And it also allows you to import some icons. So with every project, I start off by defining my setup, my conflict and my resolution. My setup is basically shaping the effect of the problem. The conflict is introducing what that problem is. And then a resolution is how we solve that problem. Now, after I've defined this, I go to the basic structure of my project. So this will include of three steps. I start off with planning my shots and, and writing down my story as I go along. So I use the yellow sticky notes myself to do this, basically saying that shot one will be this. And I give it a short description just to describe what will happen in the shot. Then I go on to shot three all the way to the, to the end of the project where I basically lay out what this project would be and how the story will flow. So at this stage, I will start grouping them saying that these th three shots are my setup, these three shots are my conflict, and these two shots are my resolution. After this step, I start by adding blue sticky notes, which is going to be my dialogue in that scene. What you can also do here is add any notes in terms of the character should be wearing a hat, the character should be uh, looking this way or what the lighting should be, any additional notes you have for that shot you can add at, at this stage as well. The final step would be to add the shots we want to capture. So what I do is I, t I get samples of angles I want to shoot and I add them here and as I go along, as I capture these shots, I'll just go to my, my fir very first step and mark the sticky notes a, a different color. I use red to indicate that I did actually capture the shot. This works so well, I don't want to advise you to do this, I kind of want to tell you, you should. I want to make it a mandatory thing to plan out your videos before you start them. I promise you it makes the world's difference. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to please subscribe and like this video and we will see you next week. Okay, bye.